Hello insiders, newsflash time. First item, there were 38 people who expressed interest in our new experimental feature where we highlight chapter markers. And uh, we're hoping to bring more early access features exclusively for the Creator Insider Nation. So let us know if getting sneak peeks, but not just sneak peeks, but early invitations to try out kind of alpha versions of features is something you want um, more of here on the channel. We think it'll be pretty cool. It's something that's unique to what we can do since we are a channel by the YouTube tech team. But uh, let us know if you're interested below in seeing more of that stuff. Next, in April, the live team launched the unprocessed live replay editing feature. So in the third quarter of 2019, we gave live creators the ability to create highlight videos while streaming, while they're actually streaming, through the live control room or from the studio editor after the live archives were finished processing. So this was a tool for live creators to make highlight videos. Now, with the launch of this unprocessed live replay editing in April of this year, creators can now create video highlights immediately after ending their live stream using the YouTube Studio Editor. As a creator, you'll be able to trim and make video splits to capture the moments you want to and save them as a new video while your full live stream archive continues to process. So this goes a long way to help live streamers who have long live streams make quality highlight videos of their streams and extend the value of their live content well beyond after the stream is over. So let us know in the comments below if you've given any of these things a try and if you have any feedback on how we can make them better. This next update comes from the Unlisted Video Review Program, which we did a video about a few weeks ago. So Connor from that UVR team is gonna share some insights that they're learning from the program. And uh, this way, everybody out there can benefit from some of the insights that they're gleaning while working on this unlisted video review program for uh, those participating creators. Hey everyone, I'm Connor. I'm an analyst on the YouTube policy team, and I'm excited to be here on Creator Insider to share some insights with you from our unlisted video review program. Today, our insights around profanity. So broadly speaking, most swear words won't have an impact on your monetization with the exception of slurs. And if you're wondering what slurs are, slurs are derogatory words used against um, people, uh, whether that be individual or groups of people on the basis of their race, their religion, um, their sexual orientation, that sort of thing. What this means is that even videos that have a significant amount of profanity in them are generally suitable for monetization and we'll see the green dollar sign. What you should pay attention to though is the placement of profanity. So we treat the title, the thumbnail, and the beginning portion of your video, which we define as roughly the first 30 seconds or so, um, slightly differently than we would the rest of the video. Um, in, in those sections, we strongly encourage you to keep them clear of strong profanities like shit or bitch or the F word, um, and, and same thing goes for thumbnails and titles. Um, the other thing that I'd encourage you to keep an eye out for is the, the volume of profanity and the upfront portion of your video. So, you know, saying the F word once at the beginning um, likely wouldn't result in limited ads, um, but saying it like five times in the first 30 seconds um, probably would. So that's our tip for today. Um, I'm excited to come back and share some more insights with you. Next, in YouTube Studio, we launched the Smart Replies feature for English language channels. This is the comment text reply suggestion from YouTube Studio to help creators respond more easily and quickly to comments. We're now excited to announce that that feature will now be available to Spanish channels in the coming week. These suggestions can be easily edited before posting, so you don't have like the same one over and over. You can kind of tweak it a little bit, and they're based on most commonly used creator replies that YouTube sees today. We plan to expand to more languages in the future. We know a lot of people really like this feature, so we're gonna keep uh, growing it. Uh, if you have the feature, please try it out and let us know what you think. Okay, on May 13th, we launched a new monetization icon to indicate when monetization classifiers are still running. So during this period, 
uh, if you have a monetized video and the classifier is not done, uh, no ads will be run unless you are a creator with high accuracy rating in self-certification program. So if you've been using the self-certification program and we've confirmed that your self-certifications have been very accurate, then we will run ads right away even while the classifiers are still running. But if we don't have high rating accuracy from you based on the self-certification program, no ads will be run while those classifiers are analyzing the content. So this new checking monetization icon is located directly in YouTube Studio to make it clear when a system decision is still in process. Most creators will not see this icon because our systems are pretty fast. One of the reasons why they are so fast is because when people participate in self-certification and they're accurate, it actually improves the accuracy of our automated classifiers. So, but if you do see the checking icon, it usually is gonna be resolved in about 20 minutes. At most, it'll take about an hour. Um, so keep an eye out and when you see that and you're still in an unlisted state, let it run. Make sure you get the monetization state as good as it can be uh, before you flip it to public. Next, we got a lot of great feedback about the quality of the captions on this channel when we did a video about the crowd captions feature and people were saying, hey, you know, the Creator Insider captions are pretty, pretty bad. Um, so we are gonna try and experiment with improving the quality of our English captions. We also acknowledge that the do-it-yourself creator captions experience in studio could be better. Uh, so stay tuned in the next few months, you'll start seeing improvements there. And in the meantime, for this channel in particular, um, let us know if you think the English la subtitles have gotten better. Usually the professional captioning of our videos, we're gonna try and get that out about a day or 24 hours after we publish so that we can still get the news out as quickly as we can, but then also give the uh, caption uh, service some time to polish it off. Next, the Creator Academy launched seven new monetization courses in 28 languages to break up the content to be more modular and targetable the content is designed to address your concerns around the YouTube Partner Program and increase the adoption of key monetization options, which will help creators like you, if you're in the YPP, earn as much as possible. Link below if you wanna check out some of those courses. And for this week's trivia question, if you wanted to get a sense of how active your typical audience is in terms of consuming content on your channel, how would you figure that out? And I'll be more specific. Let's say you're uploading uh, once a week and you think, oh man, I should be uploading twice a week or every day. How would you find out if your current viewers are consuming a ton of your content on a regular basis? So if you know the answer to that question, tell me in the comments below. First person to guess it correctly will get a shout out. Keep it real.